and you can check the sound once you get back. Yes, please. Everyone's been alerted. Oh, it's Timmy! Oh, my mic was already on. Oopsie doops. I'm doing all the alerts! Hi, Minty! Sorry, usually I turn the mic off for and I'm trying to get all the alerts up for the stream. I totally turned off the desktop audio. <laughs> oh well. Mele 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 mele. Mele 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 mele. So y'all don't hear me just typing away and forcing my husband to get me water. My husband who should do the sound check! I'm gonna start anyway, I don't care. <laughs> there we go. Hello, everybody! Welcome to the second Patreon stream of the month. Uh, tonight we are doing th uh, two for each person on each thing. You are not. Sorry, Minty. Uh, tonight is... I put it on the general. Tonight is Pixel, JBZ, and Luna Warlock. Everyone I guess two because they all put them up at the same time. <laughs> So let's get started. It's IJBC, since you're here first, I think you're first anyway. I'll actually, picks first, but I'll do yours first since you're here. I return. You return? Nah, sorry, I stood up and then I had to middle. Oh, my husband had to wee. I had to go use the litter box. Hi, Beastie. My who been had to wee. Do you want it in the silhouette too? I can do that. <gasps> what? Who draws so big? You Zero can. out of ten. I can check is fine. Wait, Minty's here. Sorry, I insulted her. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be cool. I do need to do more uh, emotes and stuff more that are practice. animated. I can almost pick my nose. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. I'm putting my nose with my tentacle. Oh, so now I'm the only big weird one. <laughs> you must be just small. I think sending things over Discord made you draw small. It true. <laughs> Discord with its pathetic file size. I know, it's always fussing at me. But I can always email things to people. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, you know, Minty. You wouldn't have to pay for the file size thing. You wouldn't have to pay for Nitro if you if you didn't draw huge. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. 
Bet you don't draw big no more. Says the huge drawer. I don't draw that big. Apparently, you draw bigger than Minty now. Ha ha! I'm the biggest. Hey. Biggest cutie. <gasps> we went and saw the new Evil Dead movie today. Mm -hmm. It was very good. We had a lot of fun with it. I laughed much. <laughs> yeah. The trees greater scene was not as bad or like as um gory as I feel like they implied. Cause they were yeah. like talking it up. Or what like... would be the worst, like the most quig scene in there? Hmm. I don't know. Bruce Campbell eats an apple vigorously. <laughs> I know her biting out the dude's eyeball was kind of good. That that was where they got the sound effect for that yeah. one. That one was pretty funny. Get some boobs up in here. I did like seeing the guy shoot him with the shotgun and then just seeing him and like, Wah! Wah! I'm glad they didn't shoot the cat. Yeah. I was worried about the cat. To our knowledge, the cat didn't die. Yeah, the cat's, the cat's fine. Come to think of it, I don't know if the thing in the Evil Dead, um, like, hurts animals. It wants souls. If you go by, like, it wants, super... It, it wants innocence. That was the thing that was said about in the uh, in the record. He was like, it won't stop until innocence is destroyed. And no cat ever is innocent. Well, it always talks about souls. Like, swallow your soul. Mm -hmm. You know, then this movie was like, there's two souls. And if you go by, like, specifically Catholic teaching, animals don't have souls. So, yeah. theoretically... Yep. It could not give two fucks it about animals notice. when you think about it. I'm doing this hand backwards. <laughs> I just realized that. But I don't know if like the the monsters in the Evil Dead follow Catholic doctrine, but if they do, that that would be part of it. Yeah, the priest does a recording of the Catholic, so maybe it's just his interpretation. Yeah. Who knows? When you get down to it, like in a lot of horror movies, uh, stuff like. Catechism, catechism and stuff like that. It's really just the flavor of tool you're using to fight. Yeah. And it makes sense with the evil dead because they're summoned through incantations. Of course, you could probably fight them through incantation. Why would you not have both? It's fun that way. I like that they tried to the religion it and you just laughed at them. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, that's fair. Well, I always feel Evil Dead is inspired by the Exorcist, because they tend to act a lot like uh, the Exorcist's, mm -hmm. you know, girl. And that one was specifically, you fought the, uh, you fought the incantations with incantations. Yeah. And it sort of follows the, uh, SCP or other, uh, science horror logic that certain incantations work on certain things. Mm -hmm. And it could be argued it's either, like, the amount of, um, vibrations in the air in a specific way that causes that. Or it could be like the the thing you're fighting believes in it. So yeah, I like with the Castlevania it. one. It's just like yeah. What? No, crosses are useless. The geometric shapes really mess up their vision. <laughs> Makes sense to me, bro. <laughs> that one was funny. I'm pretty sure I could take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know? Me? As someone who's a big fat atheist, hey. I would totally- I'm totally up for like, if a demon is summoned by incantations, it can be destroyed by incantations. Why the fuck not? Sure. That makes sense. Okay. I think in, uh, I'm not sure about the new SCP lore, because I know they've been adding stuff. Mm -hmm. But OG-wise, it was literally like, we have a set thing- like, set set of incantations that you can, uh, yell at things. To see if it'll make them stop. <laughs> Look, just go down the list, and whenever you find one that works, that's what you use. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, don't assume. It might not be Jewish. <laughs> There's one that's like a plane that you have to get, like, six or so men of or women of religion. It doesn't matter what religion. They just have to really believe in it. Hello, Coco. Coco. And as long as, like, all the people on that plane believe in whatever religion they have, they can, like, keep the doors from hell from opening. <laughs> and it's not about their incantations or anything, it's all about belief structure. Yeah. So you could also argue it's, like, human belief. It doesn't have to be about the actual religion. 
which is also a fun take on things. Crap, we're out of religious people. Send mathematicians! It would work! <laughs> That's, that's one thing I like with the Mechanicus. They're like, shit, demons are real. Well, we're going to math super hard at them until they stop coming into our universe. Yeah. What do you think about it? That makes total sense. Yeah, if we math at them hard enough, then our fundamental belief in the foundations of reality will dispel the demon. Because meh. Yeah, because in uh, Warhammer, isn't like thought itself a power yeah. in like, the universe? So that makes total sense. Yeah. Universe-wise. Quad, what is it? Quantity has a quality all its own. Yeah. If you have enough people believing in something, it can start altering things. I kind of want to make a heart around them with the wings. Hey. That'd be a good, like, frame. Mm -hmm. I see you're distracted by my giant titties. Oh, they bounce up and down. <laughs> One falls out, rolls away. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't JoJo. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not a beautiful woman? Crushes the fucking melons on the ground. That's what I do with my boobs every day. I just crush them upside the dumb dude's face. <laughs> Hundo. <laughs> Other than that, we've had a pretty chill day because we got our laundry done and we watched a movie, and that's been about it. It's nice. A good calm day. I drew Jolene. You did. From JoJo in the style of um, Panty and Stocking. Because I've been wanting to. I've always thought she was good in that style, and I've been wanting to try it for a while. Yeah, it suits her. And not Beeline with that ye ass haircut. <laughs> Remember when, like, the alternate Jotaro and Jolene came up in the anime after the, the, um, time swap, after everything fast-forwarded to another universe, and I was like, who the fuck is this wish-ass version of Jojo? <laughs> it was like, bro, what? This doesn't work at all. And I was right. I was like, why the fuck did the animators fuck up shit so badly? But no. It's just Jojo being Jojo. As you do. Still my favorite season. And I, I'm sorry, I, they're probably not going to change that, no matter what they do in the future. I mean, Jolene is pretty freaking cool. I do look forward to a horse is a horse, unless it's of course it's Jojo. Though. Is that the one where he has four sets of, like, four balls? No, that's the next one. Okay. The one that's coming is the, the great horse race for Jesus. Road trip with Jesus. There was a Jesus jump scare in the the new Evil Dead movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprise! It's Jesus. He was like in the vault where he was getting the fucking Book of the Dead that just happened to open up with an earthquake because it's California. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, it's the same rainy movie. Who cares? How did Ash get the first one? It was just kind of there at the fucking place. It was just left there. How did the Ash get to the past? And, uh, well, in one movie it was because of the book, and in another movie he got sucked out of Kmart. Yeah. In his defense, I too would want to go to the past to escape working in a Kmart. It's true. But in there, there was just, you know, a crypt and a bunch of crosses and a giant crucifix with Jesus on it nearly fell on the character. And I was like, oh, Jesus jumps again. <laughs> It's like, look, we're gonna bury it in a bank vault, the, the place where no one will go. And then cover it in crosses. Well, then they buried the bank that the vault is in. Yeah, they just closed the bank. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I guess, guess this it. is closed. They'll stop evil. No one robs banks. They'll never find Why would book. they want a big old book, though? In a, in a stone crypt. It was in a bank vault. Like, it was in an abandoned bank vault. So. Yeah, but it was also, like, in a shitty stone crypt, and it was only open because of the earthquake. Like, you gotta figure, If like, you're gonna go in a bank vault, you're gonna steal, like, actual shit, not some records in a dusty old book that got teeth. You would think that, like, it would have happened ahead of time if the, like... Because there would have been rumors of, like, ah, there was an abandoned bank vault down here. Who knows what is in there? <laughs> The cat, you know, the Vatican went to Great Lakes to seal this bank vault. I wonder. Well, they, I don't that. think they knew that the Vatican did that. I think like it was just in the vault, and 
and like they close the bank and maybe like I don't know the last dude who read the book and had to burn his fellow priests like maybe he never came back to get it because he also died On the and it was just left in there when they fucking boarded up the place are you gonna move a stone sarcophagus out of a bank vault no you're just gonna fucking cement over it and build an apartment building <laughs> Cause like on the uh, on the one record he was there in uh, like a conclave of other priests and stuff. Yeah. So like. But they that, might have all died for all we know. That meant it's like the evil dead monster. It that meant, gets people. That meant the Vatican knew that it was there and like so there's the, like they could honestly do a whole setup they of could. just how like how the book got down there in the vault and was sealed. Like, maybe the guy, the last one standing, put himself in the crypt with the thing. Mm, I could see that. To, like, seal himself in with all the crosses and stuff down there to keep the book contained or something. And it was, what, in the 1920s? Early 1900s. Yeah, in early 1900s. Yeah. And so I could totally see with all the shit the Vatican has to take care of in Europe, much less America, mm -hmm. where this takes place, them just forgetting about the bank vault. Yeah, because, like, it would have been, you know, just before... The Especially Great if Depression. they tried to keep it quiet? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the people who kept it quiet are dead. Because it would have been around the Great Depression and yeah. then World War II. So, like, yeah. they had a lot of other things yeah. to forget about it. Yeah. Like, so, like, it was just this Oh, God, we need an Evil Dead where it turns out the Nazis tried to use it. <laughs> we could. Like, that's what the... Cons like, just like the, the, pu the Puppet Master. The Great Depression could have been caused by the book. We don't know. Oh, I need that now. Come on, Evil Dead. Make Bring in some Nazis. 1920s Bruce Campbell running around in a zoot suit. Okay, every horror movie series eventually needs to incorporate Nazis because we all like watching Nazis die. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's a universal thing. Yeah, we all like watching Nazis die. I mean, that's what they're doing the new uh, Indiana Jones movie for. <laughs> I was hoping, we saw a preview for that at the theaters and I didn't know about it. I was hoping that it would be like, I'm, you know, like, I'm Harrison Ford and I'm just showing up in the first 15 minutes so I could hand this off to someone else because I'm old. I mean, like... But no, they made this poor old man do all this shit. Like, and then they just, like, CGI'd his fucking face half the time. I feel like at the end it's gonna be, like, handing it off to the girl character we saw in the preview, but, like... We saw fate far too much for it to just be like, yeah, I'm yeah. done, and leave in, like, the first 15 minutes. I feel like he should, though. Yeah. It would've been funny. Just I'm like, just sick of people, like, doing this for, like, so damn long. Just a bait and switch for him to just be like, and I'm retired, leaves. It's like, stop just, you know, eating off of nostalgia forever. Like, why? Like, even with the, um... I mean, I like Evil Dead, but Evil Dead has shown that, like, it can become something else without Bruce mm -hmm. Campbell, as much as I love Bruce Campbell. I don't want him in the movies and series. He's old. He's tired. He's a character actor. This is a very violent series. <laughs> <laughs> Let the poor man take a nap. Like, yeah, I... To Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, right? Yeah! Like, they tried to set him up as, like, the next Indiana Jones, and i like... That baby-face-ass bitch, too. And then he just fucking disappeared, I guess. I, I, yeah, I don't know what he's doing now. I wonder if they're even gonna explain that in this movie. Like, <laughs> like what happened to Indy's son? He's dead. Where'd he go? Dead. What happened to your son, Indiana Jones? He Where'd got he go? the Transformer car. Hey. <laughs> That's well. it. We also saw the preview for the uh, the Transformer movie. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I did think, um... You liked how Optimus Primal looked. Yeah, he looked okay. I especially liked it when they made him all nightish. Yeah. That wasn't bad. We've actually been watching some of Beast Wars, because now it's on YouTube for free. And, oh god, it's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to rewatch Reboot a few years back, and I, I literally could not look at it. Oh my god. And it's not that, like, the models are bad. Like, I don't even think the models are that bad. It's the color scheme and stuff. The models in Beast Wars, they have a better color scheme. It doesn't hurt your eyes. But the models are bad. But the models are fucking hideous. The models in Reboot look better. Yeah. It's so funny because, like, for me, Beast Wars was one of those things, like, ah, oh, yeah, Beast Wars is super cool. And then, like, as I, I mean, got... it is cool, and it seems like it actually has some good writing in it. Yeah, and then, like, as I got older, I was like, okay, it's still super cool, but... But Reboot just hurts my eyes to look at with those colors. Oh my god, it's horrible. I was so glad that you went to start watching Beast Wars with me and the first thing you said was like, Why the fuck is Megatron British? <laughs> <laughs> There's no Britain! Why are the robots British? 
fish! Why is the rat from the Bronx? <laughs> I said that too, what the fuck? At least Megatron is like, okay, look, this is in the Oddies. If they're Why evil, do they have pronouns? <laughs> this is the Oddies. If they're evil, they had a British voice actor, because that's just what you do. Can I have a lens please? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I don't have one. My glasses are dirty. It's like, if they're evil, they get a British voice actor. He's like super foppy gay British, too. Oh, like, yeah. Damn. He is camp He British. is the gayest sounding Tyrannosaurus Rex I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, I think not. It's like, bruh. He's so gay sounding, it's problematic. <laughs> <laughs> he is like absolutely evil flamboyant. He sounds like the villain from Pocahontas. Yeah. <laughs> like oh if, my god, I can't believe anyone thought this was okay. Like, if y'all ever want a good time, go listen to Megatron's voice actor for Beast Wars. It is hilarious. And it only has Starscream for like one episode, so who cares? Yeah. The best Transformer. I'm not gonna be able to listen to some of those Transformers talk, though. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> you don't have the to. The Pterodactyl. What the fuck is with the Pterodactyl's voice? Bruh. Why does it sound like that? No. Is it dying? What's wrong? <laughs> They had enough money for one voice actor, and it was Megatron, okay? And he was really gay. <laughs> I, I love that, like, it gets to the point, because he, like, he really does chew the scenery and ham it up. Oh, yeah! And it gets to the point that, like, as kind of a wink and a nod to that, when the ant shows up for the Predacons, the entirety of the rest of the time that ant is around, he calls Megatron my queen. <laughs> <laughs> he is one. Just <laughs> unremittently. Just Honestly, like, yeah, makes it, sense. Like, he'll be something, they'll be like, Yes, my queen, and then stomp off, and Megatron's just like, Ugh, and everyone just looks at him like, Hey, why's that ant call you baby girl? <laughs> God, it's so great. And, like, the animation isn't, like, the worst. Yeah, and like they had a the lot. The models are horrible, but they knew what they could do and what they couldn't do, and so like they're like, "Hey, wow!" Um, so it's really, really hard to animate these things moving in robot form in the Audis. So uh, air's toxic. They got to switch back. To the I don't Beast know, form. JBZ. If I drew that Megatron, I would probably draw him as a drag queen. <laughs> One of those drag queens who, like, still keep the he, him pronouns. Yeah, like the bird that we have at Target. Yeah. I'll it, tell you. Target has a drag queen bird. Yeah, so for Pride, like, because Target is mostly for middle-aged white people, we have those little birds all the time for every season. And for Pride, they put out a little drag queen one. It's in a little, like, sparkly sequin dress with a feather boa and a yeah. big fucking wig. It's great. It's so cute. I don't need it. I Paul got me, uh, they had a shirt last year, last Pride, that I really wanted. And it's an old, like, comic panel uh, pop art type look. And it's just a woman lying on a bed, and it's pink, and it says, um... Busy thinking about girls. And he got it for me and I cut it so it was off the shoulder and it looks great. It do. It's super cute and hot. It'd be better if it said, I'm sorry, I can't I can't think right now. Brain full of girls. Hey. But that doesn't fit on a t-shirt as well. I still like the, uh, I like that jumpsuit. That's just it just the, says gay on the back. Just It literally is just like the Price is Right font and just says gay. And then the name tag says all day, every day. And it's like, eh. It's so funny, it's like, Target's only doing it for money. All, co all corporations only do pride for money. Oh, for sure. But it's kind of like the, um, their heart's in the, not the greatest place, but at least they're trying. Like, you know, it really goes to show that the, the math is skewed. Yeah. Like, they think that it's better for them to advertise and support gay people because they think that's a better market. I was really worried with all of the um, stuff that was going on this year, they would not go as hard with Pride. Because yeah. I feel like they didn't go as hard last year. Last year was just really Yeah, boring. it was badly done. Like, most of it was super dull and boring colors. Like, the Father's Day stuff was way yeah. more gay than the Pride stuff. It's not like that one year they had just the rainbow, like, suit. Hey. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, it's not like the one year where we took the rainbow decoration after they finished the Pride month. <laughs> yeah. 
I wanted the little Iosauron pride circle, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one that they just hang up to watch you. The like, biblically oh. accurate gay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all biblically accurate gays? Well, like... Fabulous. It really is just one of those things, like, they've just decided, yeah, you know what? The math is on our side. So this is what we're going to do. I'm so torn with that, because a lot of me is like, oh, they're only doing this because they want the money. They just know this makes them look good. Another half of me is like, well, the fact that they think it looks good means that uh, statistically it's better for them to support queer people than it is not to. And, you know, baby queers will see the stuff yeah. and be like, oh my god, I am seen. I am sold to. I'm yeah. at least a reasonable enough market to want to have yeah. to stay around kind of it's, thing. It's such like a double-edged sword with queer products. It's like, oh, I exist as a market. Yay? <sighs> it's hard. It's hard. It is. Like, you know, obviously capitalism bad. But at the same time, they, that means that on a purely cynical level, they feel there's enough moderate or gay people around that they outweigh those people to market. <sighs> and, like, that's good. Like, at the end of the day. I still want nor co no co corporations at Pride, and I still don't like being, you know, a demographic that can be aver advertised to, but I do kind of like being a demographic. That's nice. You know, appreciate it as something that can make people money, if nothing else, I suppose. I do like rainbow color shit, but most of my rainbow color shit I get off Etsy from artists. My uh, compression gloves that uh, I put on Throne, and I actually bought another pair for myself before that. That's why I put them on Throne, because I like them so much. Uh, that uh, someone got me a while back. Those were made by a queer black artist, and I found her during uh, the NFT bullshit. And she, she was like, you want to support a real black artist? Because some bitch was like, NFTs help people of color get to, you know, make it in the art world. And it's like, no, the fuck you don't. And she was like, you know, I'm black, support me. And I was like, what? Compression gloves that look like um, Sailor Moon's bedspread? Uh, yes. Give me. <laughs> Shirts. I like Hawaiian shirts. I like comfy, colorful things. I show you plenty of Hawaiian shirts, but they're all too expensive for you. But like, if if the Hawaiian shirts that come up for a pride thing are worse than the Father's Day ones, I'm disappointed in everybody involved. I should just look on Etsy for pride uh, shirts. Well, like this year, honestly, one of the best ones I've seen this year was a. Uh, a very subtle Spongebob Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Because it's like pineapples and palm trees and stuff, and it looks really nice. But then if you look at it a little closer, you can see <laughs> Spongebob hidden in some of the parts, and a uh, Patrick hidden in some of the parts, just laughing. And I'm like, oh, this is Patrick. That's kind of cute. Fabulous. Hey. Yeah. But then there's also just like, <laughs> like, you can get an entire, like, Pride kitchen setup basically because it was just you could get your oven mitts and your apron and your cookie set. Oh my god, do you think like there are you know how like every holiday we have like kitchen towels and kitchen sets and shit? Yeah, do you think oh, okay? I'll fix it once I'm done with this. Do you think there are women who are like buying pride themed ones like it's a holiday? Yes, oh my god. I feel like we are far enough divorced from reality when you're talking about, like, the target middle-aged moms who buy for the seasons. I feel like absolutely. That's wild to think about. Oh uh, yeah, it's the gay's birthday. Yeah, it's it's May. That That's when May is gay. That That's how you can tell when the Pride stuff comes out. <laughs> June? No, no. See, all the Pride stuff gets put out in May and it sells out because they don't have nearly enough of any of it. So, yeah, no, totally. May is the gay month, obviously. Mm hey, -hmm. <laughs> titty bite mark. It kind of looks like that, don't it? <laughs> there is a piercing you can get that's just called a snake bite, and it actually has two little 
little blumps. Yeah, well, and I was getting my tattoo uh, the day before yesterday. I was like, um, oh, it's in a race. I was, they they did have a lot of piercing stuff there, mm. and I was like, eh, I don't think I'll ever get another piercing. Yeah. I got the ones in the ears, and they healed up so damn quickly. I was like, eh. Yeah, I don't really have an interest in doing that again. Like, lowered on the titty or lower towards the cleavage? I guess I'll merge this layer then. Hey. Hey, there's another chicken with my head cut off. My cat. Your cat broke your snake seal. <laughs> cat jealous of heat of snake. Get attention. Steal the heat source. Kitty, take it, mine now. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Eight months. Yeah, the month is over, so everyone's subscribing. Yeah. I remember seeing this one image where it was like they'd gotten a heat rock for the lizard, and then they took a picture of the tank because there was a cat on the rock and the lizard was on the cat. <laughs> Double warm. It's like, well, I guess that works, sure. Kitty's body temperatures are low. Yes, that's why they steal everything warm, including yeah. the sun. They get cold. If you're cold, they're cold. They're made for. There was an advertisement for uh, the boogeyman in the window of the movie theater we went to, and it was like, "Let him in." And I was like, "If you're cold, they're cold. Let the monsters in." <laughs> I was interested in that movie when we saw the um, preview, and I was when it first started because I was like, "Oh, this looks neat," but then like it just got. Yeah, it's just a jump scare. Yeah. You never know with horror movies. Aww. Oh, they ripped the heating pad. Oops. It's theirs now. <laughs> well, they can have a short. They can also probably torn. want what's inside it. <laughs> How does the heat come out of this small pad? There must be a little animal in here. Perhaps if I find it, I'll find out. They did not. Cat solution to most things. Perhaps if I bite it, I'll find out. They did not. <laughs> When you were drawing your little galaxy cat, I was just waiting for you to like have him pushing something off the ledge into a black hole. Oh uh, yeah, I should put that up on the Patreon. I wanted to send it to the creator of the little galaxy kitties first, mm -hmm. uh, to like you know double confirm like it's yeah, cool it's just, with them. Mm -hmm. They're very protective of their little guys. Understandable. Ah, I'm not cool. protective of any of my shit. Just go ahead and draw it. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Draw her like a goblin. I was asked recently if people were allowed to draw my avatar. You can, I just don't want it to be sexy. Mm. I'm not a sexy person. I'm a cuticlaps. Hey. <laughs> totally. Aw, oh, Pixel. That sucks. Is there like, can you get some fabric to make a new cover for it, perhaps? I don't know what type of heating setup you got for them. But like little heating pads kind of thing. You could get like some decent um, cloth. I or have something. a heated blanket. She do. For my old lady legs mm -hmm. when I draw during the winter. Ah. I unfortunate. Now you just have to hold them till it's done. Mm-hmm. Like a hamburger. Oh no, snuggly lizard. <laughs> Snuggle the wizard. Hey. Snake, snake, cobra, cobra. Eh, no, that looks dirty. <laughs> Works on the eyes, though. Alright. Ah! <laughs> I forgot the sketch was on the top. <laughs> Light goes out in Beastie's eyes. <laughs> Honestly, it reminds me of, you know that one guy, the uh, the one cosplayer that made the um, Shinji Akari glasses that glowed? Yeah. We killed him. We <laughs> killed all of them, Paul. Hey. 
All right, we got to do a creature too. Hmm. I merged that with the back. What? What should the creature for this week be? Hmm. Well, we have Beastie. We have Pixel. Let's do Pixels. They're the TV head, right? No, that's the dead TV Pixel. Head? That's dead Pixel. Pixel is the fox uh, lady. Oh yeah. Have I done that? I don't think so. Let's do that. Hey. Go away, BT. You gotta stay there till I draw your other picture. <laughs> Banished to the shadow zone. Or shadow realm, that's it. Autism fox. Hey, hey, hey. Creature with a pipe in front of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Can't have a pipe in McDonald's. Yes, I can. <laughs> you didn't tell me what to do. I'm your manager. Don't tell me what to do. Small creature with pipe. Long. <laughs> the clonkers. Yes. <laughs> She's got the clip clops. Yeah. And little smoky tails. Fart. <laughs> Stop farting! <laughs> now I'm gonna do both of yours together, JBC, if that's okay with you. But you got time to go check yeah. the laundry. Yeah, I mean, I'll just be doing the sketch. I won't finish that fast. Hey. There we go. We have a creature. Yay! It's a little hot. Let me go check the temperature. I think we set it to like 74. I'll do everyone together. Okay, so there's a sucky beastie. Do you want that one in silhouette too? A normal beastie. And I already deleted the thing. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. No! Don't speed, please. Don't die. No danger. Dangerant. Dangent. Actually, I'm gonna open the completed version of this. It's gotta shift through all my commissions. My dad says I should charge more. Hey. You do. <laughs> I just did. I'm sorry, you guys. My dad says I should charge more, so I gotta charge y'all more. <laughs> I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed to stay out below five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> stay out too late. Dad got mad at me. <laughs> Actually, shrink these. I have like no games to play right now. Okay. I'm finished with Dread and Genshin's in between updates, which I only play that because I got nothing else to play anyway. And I don't have any new games, I want some new games. You finished your playthrough for the little lamb. Who's your name? Lammy. I wonder what your next game obsession will be. Probably something spooky. By this image... Oh, okay, the one in behind. Got it. I see the X's now. My brain was just looking at the art. <laughs> Oh, I remember when we were driving to the hospital and I was like, you were like, you were like, um, everyone's on my ass. And I'm like, well, you could go faster. <laughs> You're if, like, I'm already speeding. I was gonna say, like, in my defense, honey, I was speeding. You could speed faster. I was speeding faster. 
Faster would have been reckless driving. No. Getting a ticket would not get us there quicker. Yeah, it would have. It would have. Oops. Yes. I like them. Ah, these are those three fingered or four fingered characters. Ancient furry, ancient sins, ancient sins. <laughs> we gotta have the toe beans and the claws, that's all I really care about. Oh right? no, that's one thing. But four fingers? Ancient sins. <laughs> <laughs> Why you show me this? Naked man. <laughs> it do. The it just shows me things to make me mad, I swear. It's the future that AI is supposed to bring us. You mean the one that's done by exploiting people of lower incomes in other countries? What? No. What? Yeah. <laughs> Ah. See, you're not ancient sins, furry. Hey. The ones who got into furries from old cartoons. <laughs> like Beauty and the Beast? No. <laughs> Older than that, jeez, like Looney Tunes and shit. Tiny Toon Adventures. Yee. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> the Tiny Chance is fairly recent too. But they're based on older models. Back when they were called funny animals instead of furries. <laughs> oh look! The, the baby ought to give it a cone so oh. it floats. I remember, uh, there's a good down the rabbit hole about the history of furries, and uh, it talks about the very first fur convention. Neat. And even at the very fucking first one, which was really just a meetup, not a convention, it was just a meetup, someone came in a BDSM fursuit. I was like, how is that even a thing already? <laughs> Much less one that's BDSM themed. Oh my god. I have to immediately create a BDSM for I have to immediately create a whole sub fetish right now. <laughs> Look, if there's one thing humanity has done over the course of the entirety of humanity, it's horny. That's also the time when, like, uh, it was slightly less about porn and stuff, and it's more like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. Hmm. Not specifically Teenage Mutant Tur Ninja Turtles, but you know, like the rabbit and Splinter in there. Yeah, that was the so kind of like. If you look at indie comics from like the 80s and 90s, mm. there's so much furry art. Like, it is crazy. Everyone's doing it. And it's all done in that black and white, pen drawn on white printer paper style. Mm -hmm. No tones, just we live by black and nothing else. I have one pen and it's They don't I have, have tones. We're not fancy enough for tones. Some of them have tones, but not a lot. It's like, look, I have one pen and it's all I can Ugh, afford. My ears are all sweaty. Mm. Are my headphones. I'm watching. I'm watching the video where they um. Oh, neat. They uh, they have a uh, a van on one of those little uh like pulley things to make it go at certain speeds and hit a rock at high speeds. And then just show it like how it would just uh, deform and hit it kind of thing. And so finally it's like hits it at like 200 miles an hour and it just like booms. And Oops. <laughs> like, Dee. That's not the right thing. I want to draw some Enna artwork now that I'm more into like now that I've gotten into that. Mm -hmm. But I just cannot think of anything. 
Have it's any... it's too weird and beyond my ability of weirdness. You have to think of like. I have to think of something entirely nonsensical. Mm-hmm. And something like early Nintendo based. No, more like a uh, like uh, Windows games. Hmm. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Hold the snack. Hold the snack. You should have kept the snack in your lap. You're a heat source. Hey. Humans can be heat sources. Hey. I'm a heat source, says my wife. Yeah. Example. Aww. <laughs> Lady went to her doctor's appointment, forgot she had her sugar glider in her bra. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Those things are so cute. Is that a sugar uh. glider, or do you have a very serious, confusing medical condition? I want the sugar glider. <laughs> I'll just cut and copy the handle on the other side. Artists are lazy. Hey. Artists are both super lazy and crazy perfectionists. It's odd. Hey, look, they made it out with their sugar glider without it getting woken up at the docks. Aww. Well, it was in a warm pouch. It was in her tits. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I too would take a nap in titties. Yeah. Tits are nice. Alright. Imagine how you she, she is to having that sugar glider in her tits. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's soft and warm. Hey. Money cat. Money cat. Yeah. Maybe I don't fucking know. Hey. I just have uh like creepy game music on the the playlist. Creepy lo-fi game music. You know what it makes me think of uh the um I Spy Spooky Mansion. <laughs> I love that game. I was kidding. You know what? I went looking for I Spy posters. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I figured they'd be crazy expensive, like print posters. But the I Spy stuff has such a weird liminal empty space type deal mm -hmm. to it. I kind of wanted one or two. And like, they don't sell them. Am I going to have to make my own? <laughs> oh, by the way, I went to axe throwing and uh, failed successfully. Wow. That's the handle embedded in the wall. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, neither did she until she took pictures of it. Learned something new today. <laughs> it's not how that works. Oh, thank you, Brazen Bard. Word. My new follower. Yay! I have so many D&D uh, &D people following me. <laughs> it's true. We summoned another bard. And then there's JBZ, the 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 one furry. <laughs> Bless her soul. One of the furries of the forest has taken uh interest in you. I was gonna say pity. <laughs> I was just looking for the word. <laughs> Bardokinesis, you summoned another bard. That's true. That'd be what my third or fourth bard. Yeah. Well they're slutty, they get around. Put your computer to sleep. Let it rest, heathen. I think I'm gonna mirror this once I'm done with this side of the line. We're... Ivy says Ivy. Ivy, Ivy. Does Ivy know I got a tattoo? Oh yeah, I'll tell her. I think you have the picture on our Discord. Or it's on my Twitter. 
Got my first tattoo. I'm a little tattoo baby. It felt annoying. The shoulders are a little broad. I want soft, squishy shoulders, not broad shoulders. JBZ's a bottom. Hey. <laughs> no, I won't assume your your station. Position. Station. <laughs> She's broad, broad. Yeah, I didn't want to give like manly shoulders. Hey. Soft, broad shoulders. Squishy. Squishy shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Position. Position. Screw gender and pronouns. What's your position? <laughs> <laughs> Service top. No. Assigned bottom at birth. Yeah. Apathetic bottom. We're sorry, this, this job offering is only accepting bottoms. <laughs> Do they, though? There was actually when I was doing my student teaching back when I was gonna be a teacher, look how that worked out. Uh, there was a boy in my class who had to get like special stuff yeah. because uh, he was born with no anus. Yeah. So he uh, had to get one surgically grafted on. Hmm. Like he was in the process of it. It took a lot of surgeries and uh, he actually had to be out for two weeks because of it. But he couldn't feel the urge to poop, mm. so he had to like wear a diaper and stuff and get changed all day. Oh, yeah, he was a sweet kid though. Yeah, he didn't really slow him down. <laughs> he was in kindergarten. Most he can't slow them kids age. down. Yeah, <laughs> it's physically impossible. Mm -hmm. Maybe that'll be the next thing that like is, like big places do, just being like ah. Well, see, we found. Oh, him. thank you. Oh, welcome to your first time. He was a sweet kid. It really did. It didn't bother him at all. Mm -hmm. He just had to be like taking that class for five minutes once a day or so. Mm-hmm. Be funny if that would be like the first like new thing that jobs start doing. It's like, look, we found that certain types of people are better suited for these certain types of roles. So, um, we look on your social media, and you say here you're a bottom. Uh, that that's just not gonna work out for us. Um, but thank you for your time. <laughs> I'm trans, I identify as a top. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. That's horrible. This is a fur a request from a furry. Mm hmm I draw what people tell me to during request streams. I make no choice in the matter. I'm trans position. Right. Transformer. <laughs> HR staff would be switches. Agreed. Yeah, Paul. <laughs> Just nothing. Yeah, but, Paul, who's up for HR? Yeah. Nothing but service tops. So you admit it. Hey. <laughs> I could bottom. I could top one day. To the Freudian slip. <laughs> I could be a bottom on. What's this be? What's this could be, darling? Don't be mean to me, I'm adorable. My whole excuse all week is like, I'm not gonna do this, I'm in mourning, and I just leave. <laughs> I don't have to fold my clothes, I'm in mourning. We, uh. I don't have to wash this dish, I'm in mourning. We got My that. mom would have wanted it this way. <laughs> we got the help from the uh, the folks that came to pick up all the stuff, so that was at least some good bit of stuff going on. We don't have to sit there and try and haul a bunch of crap ourselves. Yeah, it was nice. All of mom's furniture, uh, pretty much all of it, went mm -hmm. to a guy whose house burned down. So they got the furniture, which we did not want to uh, move out because we have no car. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have a car, but it is not a car for moving furniture. We would have not have been yeah, able to Yeah, we would have had to couch. rent something, and I did not want to pick up a couch. And they got furniture for free. That's a terrible pun. <laughs> 
But like, yeah. That couch was fucking heavy. <laughs> so like See Paul Solar can make good puns. <laughs> Wood. Collect. Wood. I made the boob a little too far to the side. <laughs> Boobula. Enhance boobies. Extra cleavage. You dropped a boob into the fountain. Was it a gold booby? A silver booby? <laughs> or perhaps this shitty old pipe booby? Or perhaps these shitty old men tits? <laughs> <laughs> you can now become a magical girl on command. Hurrah! Actually, that one was just getting. Was it? I don't actually remember what you got. You got the go You got the uh, the magical girl pipe. Was that for that? Yeah, or you, just the pipe. You got the, um... That was the gold pipe. I think it was the magical girl thing, too, because I think you got the magical girl transformation out of that. I think you got that from beating the game a certain way. But check. It's been a while yeah. since I played 3, so... I got the lightsaber, too. I miss when games used to do that. Look at this face. She would never do anything to you. Let's see. In the extra new game, uh, you can receive the holds of pipes. Uh, da, 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 da. Put a steel pipe in. Okay, now it is just the. Um... Yeah, no, they're just they're just shiny. That's How all. do you get the magical girl outfit? Uh, let's see. It's probably in New Game Plus as well. Yeah. Yeah, all the, the outfits, except for like some of the ones you can unlock through codes, are in New Game Plus. This is Silent Hill 3, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. <sighs> Sexy bean. After entering Princess Heart into the costume typewriter. There we go. The transform costume will automatically appear on an extra new game. And then it gives you the say the moon send for transformation sequence. The one time they have a female protagonist in Silent Hill, let's turn her into a magical girl. Also, if the Heather Beam is unlocked, the costume will allow the use of Sexy Beam. Yep. Sexy Beam. It's also in Silent Hill Book of Memories. Really? Yeah. I never played Book of Memories because it was shit. So I wouldn't know. That was the one where they put out three games in one month? Fucking dumbasses. I hate Konami. I'm worried they're gonna do that with, like, the remake of 2 and F. I don't want them to do this at the same time. Just give me one, you a-holes. In Silent Hill Book of Memory, you can use it to money farm. Because where you can pick it up, you can just save ahead of time, get it, go sell it, save again and then reset and walk back in there and it'll keep being there over and over again and it is the most profitable weapon in the game <laughs> I hate it I don't think anyone played Book of Memories <laughs> yeah who varies Konami hates Silent Hill they do But it's got boobs! Nah, mine has boobs too. Am I allowed to loot your persona if you pay me? Yes! Ah! That's not what I wanted. Aw, oh, Ivy got a new cat. Aw, oh, yeah! Should put, uh... Your Sona in the uh, magical girl outfit from Silent Hill. <laughs> it is not sexy. You don't know I'm a woman. I could. I'm just a octopus. I know not of these gender things squishy humans use. I could be lying. Who knows? Don't trust people on the internet, kids. They're all liars. It's true. That would be funny, though, if someone was like, 
don't loot my persona and then paid me to like draw not safe for work from it, it would be like, what would I do? But I'm pretty sure that would never come up. How would that work? I know, right? But like, people are so weird sometimes with stuff. I could see that happening in the future, legit. Look, I want you to, I want you to draw not safe for work. But don't look at it when you draw. <laughs> but don't loot my character. Got it? You have them like driving a crane. You know, it could be um, like uh, they want you to draw nudity, but not lewd nudity, which I could totally see. I've done that nudity, plenty of yeah. time, yeah. I love artistic nudity. I wish we should could have more artistic nudity. Or could draw them as a pinup, which is, you know, sexy by nature, but not necessarily sexy. Oh yeah, pinups are like my favorite. Mostly because pinups emphasize the form mm -hmm. over sexuality. Like, yeah. Or sexiness in sense. Like the sexiness is the human form, which right. is lovely. Right. Or whatever the hell I'm drawing. Mm -hmm. Like the character is hot, but you're not yeah. necessarily like sexying them. And usually it has some kind of vibe to it. Like mm -hmm. uh, a girl's looking at you or she's wearing a costume or there's some such... That's why so many of them are fiends. Or she's being silly. Yeah. And for the most part, they're either silly or they're actively happy to see you, which is also nice. You know, they're a little more intimate than like just porn or hentai pictures. Mm -hmm. I swear, hentai will make women as fucking gross as they physically can. Yeah. Oh my god, they will just... They will make the most hideous shit and be like, fap to this. Yeah. <laughs> BL can be a little better, but not good. <laughs> it's not good morally, but it's... At least it's not drawn creepy ways. Pinups are my win-ups. Yeah, I believe this one is one of the temples in Zelda. In Zorda. You know, the w Princess Zelda! The, the guy in the hat! Yeah. The green one. <laughs> no, not the green one with the red hair, the other green one. You know, the one that, that hops on the mushrooms! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna so laugh. <laughs> it's so stupid, though. No one else is laughing. <laughs> Man, they have the Majora's Mask uh, statuette up again, and it's still like 300 bucks. I'm like, god damn, I do want a Majora's Mask mask. <laughs> I want to see a I'm surprised it's not it's RGB. So pretty. It does light up. Ooh, RGB masks would be cool. Right? Cause you can Change have, like, the colors? Because you could have the lights moving around the outside of the mask and stuff. Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda, and it's like, I don't actually like Zelda that much as a game series. Like, I enjoy playing them, but I tend to not finish them, if that makes sense. Because by the time you get to the bosses, like, I only enjoyed the dungeons. Yeah. I don't like bosses, so I'm not going to finish this. Majora's Mask is the only one I actively finish every time I replay it. And it's the only one I pretty much replay, too. That's the one where you can, like... I think, honestly, because it really does lean more towards the exploring and yeah. going around doing stuff. It's kind of like a giant puzzle, too. And I also actually care about the story in Majora's Mask and the characters in the story. I'd rather than just be like, hey, hey these guys are funny looking. <laughs> Like, I was kind of keeping an eye on Rehydrated Meat, the Zelda game, but, uh... Yeah, I'm not so sure about that gotcha mechanic. Yeah, that... Like, what they, the fuck is that noise? They keep revealing new stuff. Like, yeah, for Tears of the Kingdom. So, like, they keep revealing new stuff for it to try and build hype, and, like, everything they have revealed so far in the past, uh, couple of weeks have been the most anti-hype things I've ever heard of. I have legit played the um, Breath of the Wild, and I played everything except the final boss. Mm-hmm. Because I just don't care. Yeah. Like, Tears I'm of the- I'm like, oh, that was fun. I'm done now. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom, like, seemed like it would be pretty cool, because like- <gasps> What? Look at our fusion mechanic, and then they're like, hey, but we're also keeping the durability on weapons, and you know that cool fusion thing that we showed you? Um. It's powered by single-use things. Really, Minty? <gasps> what? Wow. So, I need Link now, please. Yeah, send us the link to that, Oops. would you kindly? 
Um, but yeah, so they, they showed that, like, they showed off the big fusion thing of being able to yeah, make stuff. Yeah, it seemed stuff. cool and stuff. And it seemed super cool. And then they showed off that, uh, yeah, to do the fusion thing, you need this energy. You get this energy from single-use items that allow you to juice it up and to do the things like either the fusion where you create, like, where you mix weapons or when you bolt things onto other things. Both of them require you to have those single-use energy things. And to get the single-use energy things, you got to get it from a gotchapon machine. Bruh, why? I have heard they have been looking for people to work on it, so it is announced, but that sounds like they're not very far into it, though. Oh, yeah, if they yeah. haven't... They haven't had, like, production like, systems? Like, I hate to say it, they've canceled, like, three or four things, so I'm not holding my breath. Yeah, it is exciting. Yeah, it is. I'm just, I, I'm old, and I, I'm... Cynical. Cynical yeah. as fuck. Yeah, like, if, they, if they're if they posting up positions for it, they haven't started working I swear all. they did that before, though. They did it before. They were like, we want people to work in the Little Nightmares IP because, uh, Taysier, or however you pronounce it, left. Hmm. And went off to make their own game. And then when they post a thing for it, they had to be like, no, this is not all my murders. <laughs> it's like, no, they're working on their own shit. Leave them alone. <laughs> but yeah, so like, I, I, I'm very wary of that gotchapon mechanic because yeah. that just, that really just seems like they're going to be trying to put microtransactions in with it. I feel like one wasn't that big, but two did really great during its month. Because it was like the top selling game of, uh, was it February when it yeah. first came out? Which I was super excited for. Nothing else, I think, really came out that month to compete with it, and everyone was at home because of COVID, so... <laughs> it kind of rammed itself in there. Yay! <laughs> I was excited about it. I got the special edition for the Switch, which is the worst fucking port. I I kept my cool statuette and I rebought it on Twitch. Not Twitch. Steam. Yeah. Bonk, 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 bonk. That almost sounds like Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Here, I'll check on the thing. This is Haunted Halls Galaxy Super Mario 2. Galaxy 2. Galaxy 2. I'm dyslexic. Hey. You have to love me. I don't have to do shit. You gotta love me, to. Paul. I'm adorable. I choose where I am. I need lots and lots of love. You do. You also need lots and lots of trains. I will stab you. Big ones, small ones, fast oh. ones, slow ones. <sighs> you want a fruit pass? Yes, please. What's sad is like some people aren't even gonna know about that commercial, so you're just saying weird shit. Do it. They know what they're here for. You are esoteric bullshit, sweetie. If you didn't come to this channel for titties or esoteric bullshit, why are you even here? We love you. Why are they getting ad interruptions, Paul? Because it's automated through Twitch. They're uh, are they subscribed? If they're subscribed, they shouldn't be getting shit. They followed. <laughs> Person getting in. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible, Beastie. What's on your mind? Nothing. My head. Hmm. All right, fruit head. <laughs> fruit power, too. I have an ad block too. Yeah, you apparently have to get a specific ad blocker for Twitch because it uh, does their ads a little differently. 
It's annoying, but it's all automated through Twitch. It's one of those things that there's not a whole lot you can do about it because they just want to have infinite ads. You can either subscribe, buy their Twitch Turbo thing, or... What's Turbo? Uh, makes it so you don't get ads, but you also aren't supporting a specific streamer. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, I guess if you watch a lot of streamers. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. There is a known glitch on Twitch where even if you are subscribed to somebody, sometimes when you first load in in the channel, it'll still try and do the pre-roll ads at you, even though you shouldn't get them. His account keeps glitching, it keeps crashing. <laughs> Thank you, Bard. I do not control the ads. What do you mean his account keeps glitching like his, uh... His live stream. It keeps dropping out on him? Hmm... I don't know if you can fix it from here, so you... Uh, I don't even know what's wrong. Uh, I mean, there could be a few things depending on what he's doing. Um... Depending on what game he's playing and that kind of stuff. There's a few things that he can try and tweak. Uh... There you go, got the boobs in the shot! Woo! He's playing Undertale? That show Wow, Undertale? Yeah, there's something wrong. Mm, there shouldn't be any issues with him under with him doing Undertale. Uh actually. Come to think of it. Is he on Steam playing Undertale? Uh We streamed Undertale, we didn't have problems. Uh yeah. Switch. Huh? Uh, that might be the problem. Uh, so he's got it put up for a capture card. Yeah. Might be the capture card. It could be that OBS is having trouble with the capture card. If he was playing it on on Steam, I would have said it's because he's got it in full screen and not windowed. Um, however, it may have been OBS updated, and he might want to check one of his settings in OBS. Uh, give me a hot second. It'll be the same thing on Streamlabs. Uh, I'm just. Dur, 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 dur. One moment, please. No. Oh, he's streaming right now. Oh, he ended his stream. I was going to say, um, in his stream labs, he can check his output and see... <gasps> ah! Oh? Oh, no! I'm scared! Hey. <laughs> Scary music, uh... Spooky, scary, spooky. Sometime I'll have to stream. One, well, I'll have to do that Pokemon stream I didn't finish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I'll also have to finish um, my little Cult of the Lamb guy. Mm -hmm. He's just sitting there ahead all alone. <laughs> no body. He ain't got no body, guys. He ain't got no body. He ain't got no body. Hi, Doom. Hi, Doom. Hello. Doom, I was just telling Pixel that um, sometimes when OBS uh, updates, it borks up some stuff. So you can either check your settings uh, in Streamlabs OBS, because I know you use Streamlabs instead of regular OBS. Check your settings and check your output and see if it has turned your output uh, from 6,000 down to 2,500. It likes to do that when it has an update, it just defaults down to a low number which can cause it to drop out um and also you may need to uh you have your your capture card for your switch as like one of your inputs on your scene kind of thing uh basically just remove it and then re-add it because sometimes that also fixes the problem too those are the two big ones that happen pretty regularly i forgot the wings on the first one Oh, yeah, you were gonna do the heart. Yeah, right, right? I was. Yeah, let me fix that. I totally forgot. I just realized that. Mm. Bad melody. Is that gonna be a problem since it's over top of the other layers? Oh no, it's on its own. It's in its own folder. Mm -hmm. You get your ass over here, <laughs> Oh, Missy. Look here, little hissy. Little hissy. 
No, it sounds like hussy. <laughs> well, it's a sucky pussy. There now, look like a heart. Doom, uh, probably gotta repeat it for Doom. Ah, uh, so Doom. Uh, it happens all the time when OBS updates, and it happens the same way with Streamlabs. Uh, check in your settings, check your output, and see if it has reverted your output down to like the 2500, which is the usual default. It should be at 6000. Uh, the other thing is, uh, a lot of times after an update, it borks up certain things, so check where you have the um, capture card on your sources just basically remove it and re-add it and that will also sometimes fix things but a lot of times it's that that it has reverted your output setting down to a low number and that makes it really donkey donkey hey donkey Nah, sorry it is. It's behind her. Yeah, that would completely change the composition. Yep. Especially because like the oh, 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 oh you don't usually have the second arm in the scene because yeah, you're really focused you. on the tits. Yeah. There we go. Drink. I got water tonight. Like Ooh. a good girl. Yeah. Stretch your hands. Wow. Yep. My hand I have been having hand pain recently and it's annoying because I think it's because like I took a two day break. <laughs> you took more than a two days. It's like three days, I guess, and I wasn't drawing at full tilts, I guess. But it's like, ah you pussy little hand. Hmm. Well, Doom, uh check your check your output. And check uh, where, uh, pardon me, uh, check where you're outputting to, because Twitch does have multiple servers uh, in different locations. Uh, sometimes it's not going to the best one for you. So check and see if it got, I don't know, set to the wrong place. Yeah, I'm not done with this one yet. Um, because it may be going to the wrong input server. But, like, I did notice we had a little bit of wibbliness on our bitrate when it first started up, but we've been pretty steady. So it is, it's possible one of their servers is just being jank right now. But worst of worst, like I said, check the outputs and that kind of stuff, because that's always the first place that, uh, it just, it just does that when it updates. It just changes your settings. It's a complete pain in the ass and I hate it. Tech just hates you. Yeah. Just hates you. No real reason. Why did you change settings when you updated? Those things weren't affected at all. Yeah, but we're gonna fix it up anyways. <laughs> no. Because I make noises when he does that. She does. It's great. I no. love it. No. 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 But then she yells at me for making her yeah. make cute noises. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not gonna not do it. Don't do it, ho. <laughs> Don't do it, ho. Where's the pink? <laughs> What layer is this in? There it is. I found it. I could certainly do hand rubs. No. I could set that as no. a high redeem. I was gonna do this as. Oh, that's why. Don't do it. What? Put it as a redeem. I thought about it. No. Plus, what would happen when you're streaming? I give you back rub or something. I ain't giving you a back rub, bitch. <laughs> no, I'll give you back rub if you need it. Alright. Click, 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 click. Now we can turn her on and off. I really want, um, 
I wish I could put it in here that whenever I do undo and other things, it makes the um, kid picks noises like um, nope. that. Nope. Ah, wow! <laughs> oh no! Hey, don't Bonk. like that. <laughs> but it would be funny, Paul. <laughs> it is funny. You just don't like me being funny. Okay. It would get really annoying really quick though. Super fast. I'm gonna stretch real quick. Good luck. Yeah. Woo! Oh. I wore pants today. Boom. Maybe that's why I'm hot. Hot thing. Call police. No fire me. <laughs> Hi, wife. Hello, honey. Hello. I am sitting right here. Well, they're pink. I was wearing a pink dress, and I usually wear shorts under. It' true. I'm too tall. Amiga. Calito, cali calito, who's the boy? Ask me, amigo. Calito, calito, cali calito, who's the boy? I never let go. I want you so. It's an old meme, but it checks out. Oh my god, I rewatched that a while ago because I found it again. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is this fever dream? That is really what Miku Miku Dance felt like at the time. It's that fucking crunchy ass MMD1. It was, you know, honestly it's amazing that that kind of stuff really did just, uh, stick around for so long. Well, Miku Miku Dance was a thing before Source Filmmaker, I believe. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so for a while it was the way to make shit post videos. You've got Gmod and Source Filmmaker. Yeah. Did Gmod come before Source Filmmaker? Hmm. I believe so. Hmm, there you go. So that was the natural evolution. I think Source Filmmaker is more featured, whereas Gmod is more shitpost. Hmm. All right. Well, because one's on. Seems the like they're all shitposts to me, but I'll take it. Well, one's on an older engine, if I remember right. You're an old engine. Here are lots and lots of trains. Get off my train. Let's see, Gmod was 2006. Summer's Filmmaker. Oh, yeah, 2006. Summer's Filmmaker was 2012. Wow, that's a big difference. Yeah. Six years, wow. Mm hmm. Yeah, because it was on a much uh, newer engine and everything. I wonder if Miku Dance come on. I think I was bigger with the Japanese anyway. It was. 2 chan. Niku Niku Daga! Niku Niku Daga! An outcrop of 2 chan. Remember, there was that whole yeah. rabbit hole in it until she. <laughs> they wanted to play those videos. Sure would be weird if my favorite toy company had somehow owned a large portion of 4chan. Good no. smile. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Like, Good Smile does have good quality to their fucking toys. Of course it's done by nerds. Yeah. Nah, it's Good Smile. The people who make Nendoroids? Yeah, uh, through a weird case of Japanese businessmen, uh... Good Smile happens to own a large portion of um, 4chan. Just 
And Good Smile makes a lot of the Figmas and um, Nendoroids, which have Marvel characters now yeah. and other Disney characters, so you know Disney's pissed. Yeah, there was a, a whole big thing where it came out that uh, through just an absolute wild dipshit storm of stuff that... Uh, hey, sometimes it's Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> It's one of those just like, damn it, Hasbro? What? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just used to yelling that. <laughs> no, like, it really is, it's absolutely buck wild, the, like, level, like, it's one of those, like, six degrees of separation kind of things, where, like, the guy who's the head of one thing knew the other guy, and then that guy knew another thing, and somehow Good Smile got a hold of a lot of 4chan, because... The the head the, the guy in Good Smile was friends with Two Chan and they wanted to make a overseas kind of thing and then a fanboy white guy from Two Chan was like I'm gonna make Four Chan and it'll be lolies and hookers and they were like we'll put money behind that <laughs> as you do because they were also involved with Niku Niku Dogen because that was their answer to YouTube and they wanted basically the American answer to to Chen. And it's just like this whole stupid spiral to the bottom. And because nobody really knew who owned 4chan, it wasn't really a thing until that all came out as this big investigation uh, right before Disney was doing contract negotiations with Good Smile about mm. continuing to make Disney merch. <laughs> and they're not pleased with being associated I with think... 4chan. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe legally Good Smile owns like the Nendoroid brand. I'm not sure you could make a non Nendoroid, like a non Good Smile Nendoroid. Yeah. But I'm not sure about that. I mean, that just means I don't that know they, they would have get, it copyrighted or not. They would just give more money to Pops, is what it would be. Ugh, Pops. You know, Hasbro would be pops. Just more than willing to line up to get infinite money thrown at them from Daddy Disney. So, But I don't think pops are as big in Japan, so you'd have to keep up with Good Smile if you want the <laughs> Japanese market. You would. So, like, honestly, like I said, it would probably be Hasbro more than anybody trying to, like, weasel in there if Good Smile can't get their shit together. But it's just so fucking jank. And you know, honestly, it always amazes me that the Pinkertons are still around. I know, right? <laughs> that was something I did not know before this. <laughs> Do they have a website? Can you just hire them? Well, they're a PMC, but they're, uh, they primarily work as uh, loss protection now. Mm. As like an AP kind of company. And um, they've, they've actually been bought more than once since the uh, killing miners that were striking days. <laughs> Um, they're good now. No, they're still awful. They're like, still awful now. You still, you hire the Pinkertons, you know what you're getting. You, that's when you're sending kneecappers to go to somebody's door and steal cards away from them. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, the thing is, like, I, it just blows my mind that nobody has, like, thought to change. Like, even, um, what was it? Uh, Black Talon? The one that was here in Virginia? before they started doing war crimes and rebranded themselves like two or three times. War crimes. Like, those guys at least had the sense to rebrand themselves mm -hmm. like every couple of years. The Pinkertons have been the Pinkertons since the Wild West days. Yeah, when I heard Pinkerton, I immediately thought of like the um, strikes at the mines. Yeah. Like, uh, legit. Well, actually, first I thought Bioshock Infinite DLC, but then I thought of Strikes at the Mine. Like, ironically, the Pinkertons nowadays are most known for being the bad guys in Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, see, I never played Red Dead Redemption, so I yeah. didn't even think of that. Well, they were the bad guys in Red Dead Redemption. And they should be, because they were horrible fuckers. Well, they can't commit war crimes because they've never been in a country when it's at war. Yeah, they're still <laughs> horrible fuckers, so. We just call them war crimes because the things that they would do would likely violate the Geneva Conventions, and they have no morals about it. Like, you know. Did, did the Geneva Convention exist back then, though? Uh. When was the Geneva Convention signed? That's a good was question. Was that post, like, World War? I feel like it. Uh. When was the Geneva Convention signed, actually? 
<laughs> I did the first war crime! It would be interesting to look out through history before the Geneva Convention is written and see what uh, violates it. Mm. I would enjoy that. Geneva Convention. 1949. Yep, yeah, so I don't think the Pinkertons would be, you know, <laughs> violating it. Yeah. yeah, 49. So the Pinkertons can say, actually, technically, you can't hold us accountable for a law that was made after we did crimes. Yeah. <laughs> I got you there, boss. Fair, but also you're still going to jail. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. I mean, like, no, you don't hire the Pinkertons without knowing what you're hiring for. Like, you, you wouldn't go to Baby Catapults R Us and look for, like, a comfy bed. Like, Why not? <laughs> that sounds awesome to me. It's like, holy shit, guys. So, two guys with assault rifles show up at somebody's house and start saying, Hey, give us what, give us the things, and if you don't give us all the things that we're here for, we're going to take all of your things, and then we're going to call the cops and make it your problem, too. And it's like, what? I mean, I can just leave it blank, and you can add whatever you want later as a meme. <laughs> it's a weaver. That way you can put in anything you want. Over and over and over again. That's mm -hmm. what I do. A little PNG in front of it. But like, ah, oh god, it's just fucking bonkers, dude. Like, but, but, but Hasbro, you you could just not be crazy. Does Hasbro? It does. They do they own Wizards of the Coast? They do. Um, like that. It really is. I just, have drawn a teeny mail. It's just a situation of like. Why would I feel like if they would have contacted him, he would have just in a heartbeat. The, cards. the dude is the dude is a well-known YouTuber in the Magic: The Gathering scene. Like he's he's a big thing. If he got contacted by Hasbro saying, "Hey, so um, you got accidentally sent the wrong thing. Uh, that's our problem. We will trade you for an equal number of card boxes for the correct thing." Uh, and we're really offering that as just a, a recompense for your time. Uh, but if you do put this stuff up, we are going to have to copyright strike. Yeah, you could, like, probably sue him. You wouldn't have to threaten him. Yeah, showing up to the guy's house with guns is... That's just the weird part to me. Yeah, like, dude, what? Like... All right. Now it's Pixel's turn. But first... La Creature. La Creature. Like, ah, it's just... And they're, like, they are making themselves no friends with every new thing. Because, like, every new D&D &D thing that they keep putting out... Well, it's America. They probably did have guns. Yeah, they guns had, aren't illegal. They, they had armed goons. Like, it, it was too, like... Her eyes are kind of funky. I'm gonna give her a monocle. Just straight up goons TM with assault rifles at the guy's house. That's why the lady... That's they're why the guy's sad. poor wife was having a freak out. Because, you know... Two goons with guns showed up there. I would have a freak out too. Like, like especially because they were like, "We will, we'll call the sheriff if you don't come out here and start talking with us." Like that's so fucking scary, bro. <laughs> it's like fucking what? Two guys with assault rifles just showed up to your house saying, "Hey, we're gonna take all your shit. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it." That's so fucking scary, man. God. I'm scared. It right. would. That would be a legit improvement of their brand image. <laughs> like, you'd have to work real hard to get less good imagery than the Pinkertons. God damn. Alright, we gotta have a done with life picture for Pixel. I might have a good expression for this in my expression folder. I'm gonna check real quick. <laughs> her joy gone, her smile destroyed. <laughs> Shut up, huh? <laughs> The angie one. You're an angie. So many of these are just Yanderis. <gasps> what about the Lady Dimitrescu face? Yeah, the second one, actually. <laughs> there you go. I love this face. I want it on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Pixel loves it. Beautiful. 
Feasty, go away. <laughs> we already drew your big titties. Now it's time for pixels, not titties. <laughs> I've already drawn you six titties. <laughs> <laughs> Beastie's over here like more, more. more. <laughs> she sucks all the titties out of everybody else. Just the stuff. To grow her that's how that's why people are mad at trans people. That's how they grow their tits. Is they suck the tits out of all the cis women and grow theirs ever larger. <laughs> In order to gain, y'all can take mine. Go ahead. In order to gain, <laughs> something equal and opposite must be taken. <laughs> no, no, trans masks—they force their tits on men. That's why men say trans masks. You <laughs> titty rate. No. Well, cis men. I've got titties now. And then trans masks and trans films, when they see each other, they just have like a tit battle and goes woo 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 woo. <laughs> Remember I told you the other night about Beastie having the, the fucking tit spirit bomb? <laughs> Just holding the honkers up. Earth, I'm talking to you now. Oh, Lend yeah. me your titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how tits work. You just, you have to hold your tits up to the sky and ask the world to donate to them. That's how they get titties. Give me a bit of your tit energy. <laughs> she has such eyelashes. It's the chupa titty. <laughs> that would be That's so a good one, Mark. Okay, I'm picturing this. Like big bug eyes. <laughs> Just like the fattest rack you've ever seen on a goat. I didn't even think of a goat. This is what I'm picturing with that comment. <laughs> with the chupa titty? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he's got forces. <sighs> he's like, ah! <laughs> Give me a goats. <laughs> Get the tits clean off my goat! <laughs> <laughs> Cover him up. <laughs> Cover those, that woman. Just a four-way bikini top. <laughs> you have tits for eyes! <laughs> On the, uh... Wait, no, I can't show a nip, so... Yeah, bikini, put a bikini. Triangle bikini over the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> in, um... In... Their, boo their <laughs> eyes are boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, dude, don't give me... Do bits, bits so I can stop. <laughs> In, uh, in Dark Souls, the um, the the basilisks, if you ever actually look at them, they've got these big freaking bobble eyes, and they actually do bobble and move around goofy ways, because if you look close, you can see they've got little tiny eyes down on the lower part of the face, because the bobble eyes are there to be scared of all. Who's she calling? Pixel, who are you calling? You're in space, I guess it'd be a space phone. <laughs> space sci-fi phone. Space roadside assistance. <laughs> These are my favorite things to draw on the request streams of stupid meme crap. <laughs> it's fun and you can do it fast. I'm still gonna have you call on someone. I'm gonna have it be an old retro phone! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Garfield phone. No, 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 no. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got his eyes closed. I don't know, that's a little much. I'm not gonna draw that much. <laughs> I think that counts as like another thing and I don't wanna I don't wanna, you know, give someone else more than something else. I don't wanna play favorites. People get mad. <laughs> Why the house is on flower? <laughs> I like flower. It's on flower now. Like Ivy took over, poison Ivy. <laughs> what did you do to the house? I'm just saying it's fine and I'll have it fixed before you get home. Will you? Will you have it fixed? It's cyberpunk, but we still have retro phones. Will I come home and the house looks like a shrubbery?
<laughs> Two missiles are pouring more gas on it. So that one picture you had me draw with y'all at the table? <laughs> what did I make them do on the table? I remember they were doing something. Oh, Doom was like that this is fine. Oh no, it's covered in mint. Delicious. Mint is invasive. It w it was minty. She did that. <laughs> minty is invasive. <laughs> Half of them have faces. <laughs> They're just tiny hers. They're all screaming. <laughs> They're just starting to develop faces or limbs. <laughs> I wanted them to have feelings, so when I burned them, <laughs> they would know what it's like to die. <laughs> I could see Minty doing that. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're just clones of me! <laughs> Why are they screaming? They know nothing but suffering as they grow new bodies. They won't grow fast enough, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I should clip that later and give it to Minty. <laughs> I feel like she'd do that, though! <laughs> I don't have enough blood to make them grow quickly. What do you mean you don't have enough blood? Your blood? Well, I have some blood. Is it your blood? I'm currently in possession, I'm in possession of, it. of it, so it's by default it's my blood. <laughs> it's homegrown. Did you make it yourself? <laughs> oh man, I said fuck it. And I just <laughs> thought of that fucking thing you sent me with Obama and Joe Biden talking about Homestuck shit with Trump. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I sent her a horrible meme. It was great. It was so horrible. Oh my god. I'm carcalicious. And I can't shove it on anybody else because, like, no one else is into Homestuck because he got me into Homestuck and now I have to know this. I'm carcalicious. It means I make Terezi go loco. It's right there in the definition. <laughs> I don't read the comic, I just- I'm just on Tumblr and watch Octopip videos. <laughs> <laughs> I got that because I used to watch a lot of Octopip's videos. Everyone did. They're good <laughs> tops, though! <laughs> At least I'm not here with my shitty fan troll. I'm Sullix. He's in the comic. Did you even read it? <laughs> Guys, you're never gonna believe how I got myself colored. <laughs> Did you seal your paint, Joe? <laughs> Joe, it's a mess. You didn't seal your paint. Where are you going to throw another hotel? my paint. <laughs> Human stuck is just for losers who don't wear paint. I'm not taking that from a fan troll. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> see, see, no one listening to this gets this, because only you and I know fucking Homestuck. So only you can bother me, and I can't put it on anybody else, and I'm mad. <laughs> I have chosen violence. Mischief. <laughs> Look on her face. Do I hear screaming in the background? No. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Is it just the clop of those high heeled shoes that I draw? <laughs> She's trying to stamp all the little mini minties back into the crate, like into the little gaps between the floorboards. <laughs> Feed us, Mumda! Feed us! You want blood, Mumda? <laughs> little shop, little shop of hovers, little shop, little shop of terror. It's like a mixture of cat memes and Audrey too. <laughs> I hunger, mum dear. Feed me. <laughs> Feed me, mum dear. Mum dear. What do you want to eat, dearie? Diggy nuggets. We don't have those. The blood of my enemies. <laughs> All right, we'll get you the blood of your enemies. And a diet goat. Okay. You like my diet. Hmm. hmm. You'll be a dentist. You have a talent of causing things pain. <laughs> no, Minty can just reproduce like that. You never trust mint. Mint is invasive. Do you think that you've got it well protected enough to keep it from getting to the ground? No, you don't. Fire. 
If I wasn't drawing, I would go clip that and send it to Menti right now. <laughs> My husband is sitting over there, doing nothing. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what part you wanted to clip, darling. Ah, boo, boo, bad husband. Me. Also, I'm I a need a new husband who wants to be it. Wood. Doom, you want to be my husband? Doom has bits. Rude. <laughs> oh, Doom! I should tell you. Uh, I think you were the one who got me the Ida bag off of Throne. And it's a real good thing you did, because, um... Like y'all know, my mom died recently, and I took charge to do all of the, um, you know, cremation deals and all the, uh, doctors, you know, the going to the people telling them what they need. So basically all the things that requires like dealing with people who deal with dead things. And uh, all my other purses aside from that Eda bag were um, a hatchet with blood on it, a skull, and um, the guidebook to the dead from Beetlejuice. This was a while ago. But it just came in handy this week, so I literally had no appropriate fucking purse to go to any of these things, because I'm so painfully goth. I even had to try to find, like, clothes that didn't have skulls and shit on them. And I had just started using the Eda bag. If do need to get it, someone got it for me on uh, Throne a while back. And thank you so much, because it surprisingly helped. Though they probably think it was funny. <laughs> oh, we were, um... I don't... Did you come to that? Yeah, you came to that. Uh, we were talking to the cremation people about my mom. And... He was list. He was asking all the questions. Well, there was no other clients there. This is a fairly small place. He was asking all the questions like, did she have this? Did she have that? Did she have this disease? Did she have anything? Did she have a pacemaker? Does she have any radiation on her? And uh, at one point he was like, now we can take her fingerprints. And my youngest sister raises her hand and goes, she had fingerprints! <laughs> 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 and cracked this poor man up. He was just dying. <laughs> like, he could not respond to that. <laughs> Me, you, and your other sister were just fucking dying. It was so hard. It was so funny, though. All I could think of was the fingerprints joke. <laughs> not on the first day. Yeah, when they called me to ask about her organ donation, I was pooping on the toilet and I had to get my husband to take the phone from me. <laughs> Your worst fear, an important phone call while you're Holy on the Holy shit! What? They bought me the three-foot octopus! <laughs> Doom! Doom, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why? That was stupid. I think that answered your own question That's there, princess. That's true. Well, I'll snuggle it. <laughs> now I'll have a three-foot-long octopus. Thankfully, we were the only clients in there at the time. Yeah. But it was pretty funny. It was funny. Well, it was a private room. This poor guy was dealing with three girls and a dumbass in the same room. <laughs> oh, I think my music stopped. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, this is that part in it. Oh no, it did stop. There we go. There we go. Doom through a, a three foot long octopus. That's gonna be really interesting to get in the mail. Yeah, I wonder how that's gonna show up. It's probably just gonna be like a bag that you can like <laughs> pop it. It's gonna be like. I also put one of those arm holder things on there for when I eventually just fall the fuck apart and can't move to draw. Arm support brace. Yeah. <laughs> that poor guy was like. Dealing with some goofy shit while we're there. Because it's just like, I'm the only guy here. I'm sorry. And he's like, really? And I was like, no, you have a position. You have a job title. Yeah, honey. <laughs> he has been the only male in all of this, so that's been fun. <laughs> well, Rami was there at the movie. He was. Part of it. 
Robbie is way fucking taller than I remember him yeah. being since the last time I saw him. Jesus. And we're pretty tall to begin with. <laughs> I know! I've been wanting one for a while. I've been waiting for it to come out as a re-release, but I can only get like the older ones on Amazon. Yeah. I love really weird model kits. It's fun. I have such an obsession with them. Why not have something weird? People look at you funny. There should be an Adams Family model kit. <gasps> oh, 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 up there at their house. Oh yeah, the house would be nice. Yeah, that was like um. Aw. Aw. They probably have different shrimp in them. I thought it was the shrimp model kit. Honestly, I've actually started trying what's called gomteng, which is uh, Korean ramen noodles with like a beef broth base, but it's like a different kind of beef broth base, and oh god, it's fucking good. It's a little spicy, it's a little zesty, but I like it a lot. See, I got confused because there's an Evangelion-themed uh, crawdad model kit. There is. It's super fucking cool. There's also a raptor, which is less funny, in my opinion, in general. Honestly, I thought the crawdad was the best The part crawdad was kind of funny. <laughs> I have to admit. They replaced all of the miso with pepper. Aw, oh, that's a bummer. That's just lazy right there. You're lazy. I don't even understand why you do that. Miso's dirt cheap. It's not like you can't just get miso flavoring everywhere. She's so mad. <laughs> Fabulous. Finding out that her house is, is on fire slash covered in mint. <laughs> it's minty. She takes over all the house. <laughs> Her smile, gone. Her joy, destroyed. Hello, Mother Miranda. <laughs> I should replay that. I have that on my um, Steam. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we gotta give something to the, 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 the boy. The, the little baby. The creature. The creature. A bag of yen. All your yens! Yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. Give me all your yens. Give them the old-fashioned money, the little circle coins. Oh yeah, the little- oh! Yeah, yeah. The little coins that you put on the strings. Or like the little, uh, you know the little boat? The little rice boat? The no. Little thing? Ah, I love those. I love the little boats, those are cool! She get bitches. With all her coins. <laughs> yeah. Alright, next one for Pixel. Bag of rice. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Species. See, they still have two eyes. So they don't count. <laughs> <laughs> the one they want is basically what's happening over the phone. <laughs> is it raining? Is it like that air AC? Mm. Oh. I think it's raining. Look, it was getting cloudy earlier. See, Kokoro, you could have a monocle. Unfortunately, it's over your eye patch. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Took a second to get that one. I like that one. <laughs> I did have a character once who was, um... A guy who had half of his face bandaged up and he had glasses and the glasses were only broken on the, uh, the eye that wasn't bandaged up. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> See, it's Kokoro's disguise. He's got a monocle over his eye patch and a mustache over his mustache. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! I would love that. <laughs> Disguises in Paladin. <laughs> They're not very smart. <laughs> Paladins are not stealthy, okay? <laughs> GG. <laughs> I mean, Paul was a skeleton with a skeleton mask, so no one would recognize him as a skeleton, because why would a skeleton wear a skeleton mask? That's just stupid. Obviously, I'm a regular person wearing a funny mask. Obviously. I think it's like a good meme reference for this. And I had a pink mustache, because I cut it off Walter's head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why it's on the back, you never saw it. I guess I don't. Oh well. Boop. 
Can't you see me? Can't you see my tears? Listen while I say After you've gone There's no denying After you've gone And left me crying You'll feel blue You'll feel sad you miss the greatest thing that you've ever had. This song always makes me think of it. But see, you gotta you gotta ponder the comedy. Is it better to have the mustache over the mustache the same color, or is it better if it's a different color? I think it should be the classic black swirly one. Yeah, like the black or like okay. a black pencil thin one, like the little like did you? It needs to look especially fake. Mm-hmm. Like one of those stickers you get out of the batch and just stuck it over top. Little can can line of mini minties. Yes. It's attached to the monocle. You <laughs> like the monocle with like a little fake nose and a mustache hanging under it. It's my disguise kit! It is not. I'm disguised! <laughs> yeah. Yes, it should have fake nose. I always look at things as if this is a plan that Grimhal would think is good, do it. <laughs> one's red, one's green because they don't know the difference. That's pretty good. <laughs> Minty piloting pixel like Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> by the comb. <laughs> Obviously it wasn't a bear, that was Lord Bearlington. <laughs> yeah, Sir Barrington. Wonderful fella. <laughs> the fact that that's such a D, &D meme that everyone's just like, ah oh, yeah, it's, it's a Barrington. Wonderful person. <laughs> No, he's not a bear, that's silly. She's pirating her by her ears. <laughs> that's how foxes work, right? I mean, yeah, probably. No, I'll just have her pointing forward. <laughs> forward so I can stab things with my knife. <laughs> oh, now I wonder with the knife. Yeah. That's how you, you gotta go forward so I can stab things with my sword. That's what you gotta do. She's standing on her shoulders, she's small. <laughs> so you do want to understand, why even have a tank if you can't be on top of it with a sword? Uh, That's lewd as fuck. What? Why have a tank if you're not gonna be on top of it with a sword? No! I thought you meant like the tank character. No, Warhammer 40k standing on top of the tank. No, I'm thinking a tank character. <laughs> I know you are. Am I not the only one? See, thank you. Drive me closer. I want to hit them with my sword, which I guess now also works for sitting on the tank. So, sure, why not? Look, sitting on a tank, a buff. You know, man or woman or in between or not related. And uh, hit them with your sword. Stick your dick in their butt. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the chimera with the fucking yakety sex ultramarine on it is also glorious. <laughs> Majestic. Look at these little bastards. <laughs> Honestly, there's enough terrible music characters in Warhammer 40k that you could probably build your own little, like, at least a kill team, possibly a full band out of it. Because, like, there's the there's the one uh, Chaos Marine with the mohawk and the guitar. Um, I'm gonna go pee before I start this line work. Good luck. I will be back. Okay. But there's a... 
There's the one guitar guy with the mohawk. There's the... Yeah, there's one with a keytar. There is a... Uh, there is one that actually has a microphone, and his uh, backpack is a bunch of boombox. Like, it's a boombox on the thing. Um, there is the... Uh, there's the orc now with the uh, with the top hat and the uh, he's got like a microphone. He's like a, a screaming guy. So you have the orc one, and like you could do a whole band almost. I feel like there needs to be a Tao. There should be a Tao player, like some kind of music instrument Tao, or possibly a dwarf. I would take a space dwarf. That's pretty funny. Tau synth player, exactly. It's just gonna... <laughs> no! Tau could have two drones, and it could be like a DJ table, so he can just fucking picky 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 pick it with the things. Just freaking beep up. Well, of course they drive faster. The red ones go faster. That's just science. Also, rock and stone, of course. I think we can all agree, rock and stone. But like, yeah, no, the red ones just go faster. That's just how that works. But yeah, like, <laughs> Tau with the, yeah, dwarf drummer. Okay, okay, but would there be a Tyranid? What Tyranid would we have? Because you could have a Tyranid that could be like a drum player because multiple arms, or you could have a Tyranid be a singer because that would be hilarious. Deep Rock Galactic, yeah. <laughs> you say no life did as if it wasn't fun the whole time. It was definitely fun. Deep Rock Galactic, like, I really appreciate how they've been doing their seasons and all that kind of stuff. It's been super nice. I had a whole big thing about that. Because it was just like... Like, that's... If you're going to do that kind of stuff and set it up so that the community will help you by just throwing money at you kind of thing and not be super sketchy about it. It's great. Tearing it with a bagpipe. That is pretty funny. I was honestly thinking of tearing it like the uh, the Neuranthrope, those big floaty brain ones, and just having like a microphone floating in front of it. So it's just like, how are you singing into that? You don't have a mouth. <laughs> it's cause they're psychic, it's fine. Oh man. What about the Necron? Cause you could have a Necron be just like boombox in the chest. So it's just like a freaking subwoofer walking around. I mean, yeah, of course you can. Necron's the bass player, yeah. A freaking Tesla bass. That's awesome. Just a, like the modified gauze rifle, so it looks like a bass guitar. A double head bass guitar. It's gotta be a double head, because that's just cool. And pointless. One of the things you could do, Korokoro, uh, you could actually go in where the bar is, where you get your beers, and at the back where you kick the barrel into the, uh, in, in the thing for the little game, you can just yeet yourself into that and die. <laughs> you should absolutely do it. Ah, I've been kicked in the titty! <laughs> We were discussing Warhammer 40k characters with instruments kind of thing. Instruments penis. <laughs> yeah. We decided the Necrom was a bass player. And also that the Tau would be able to play the, um, have the little drones floating and just be like, picky picky and like mix them like that guy with the, uh, with the LP. Summon demons. Hey. <laughs> I was really expecting him to fucking just beat back, <laughs> beatbox the Kondak. Yeah. <laughs> Starts to I'm gonna summon <laughs> demons. <laughs> just remixes it. <laughs> just literally like, there was the big climactic battle against the Deadites and he's just like beatboxing the freaking chanting. <laughs> I loved it when the mom did the thing with the finger. <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. She did the stitch thing. She did the stitch! There's no stopping them. Just run. He. <laughs> Gwemlin. Gwemlins. Hi, Minty! Speaking of. You summon the gremlin. You're gonna kill people! He. <laughs> 
Run forward so I can hit things with my knife. It's a little plastic knife. Shouldn't she kill things with like a, a one of those troughs, the little diggy things? Trowel. Trowel. One of those three prong ones that they put on the front of Mad Max's face. Thank you. Get closer! She's so dainty. My thing is too thick. There. I made Minty so small. I mean, Gremlin, that's the way it's supposed to be. Wait, you can't do that, that's heresy. <laughs> Very small. You're off to go burn down Pixel's house with with your own plants. You let them grow enough so that they would gain sentience. They have to scream when you light them on fire. Well, you're a little big here. Hey. Too late. I've already I've already done line art. It's not changing. You had a trellis, so you got bigger. You had a growth spurt. Hey. I'm pretty sure they're not, like, 16 inches short, though. Oh, no. Yeah, you match. Never mind. Holy shit, did I actually get your sizes relatively correct? Holy fuck. That was entirely unintentional. I wasn't giving no fucks. <laughs> They're gonna get into an R-rated movie! Hey. There's just a single minty plant on top like this. <laughs> they have it's a trench like... coat on and a smaller one on the pot. <laughs> yeah. No, it's got a big fedora. Like this. And the trench coat just covers them like this. And she's like, Two for evil dead wise! Hey. I'm an adult. It's got a mustache that's bigger than them. Careful, if I don't rise, my good sir. Hello, good sir. Hello, my good shopkeep. Two tickets, please. <laughs> They're trying to get on a roller coaster. <laughs> They're too short. Exactly, in the monocle. Minty's small because she's full of evil. <laughs> if she was any bigger. <laughs> Condensed. <laughs> if she was any bigger, like, the world would explode. Have a good night! Sleep well. Oh, you don't want dumb artists ASMR as you go to sleep? I could again. <laughs> I'm on here uh, Saturday and Sunday from six, usually for like three hours or so. It depends on how long it takes us to draw. Mm -hmm. I do the rest of the week. Yep. When I, he feels like it. I he also goes games. to work. I played the video. I don't know. Games. I might do one this week to finish the poor cult of the lamb lamb. Good. He's just been sitting there, gathering dust on his filthy ass. Hey. Actually, I should be getting ready She's... for bed, too. I could alone. stay up a little longer. You gonna leave me all alone? Yeah, I gotta work in the mornings. You gonna leave your poor, poor morning wife all alone. Uh-huh. I'm mourning, Paul. Mm-hmm. Mourning for this dude. Ah, I'm only like halfway through, so 
I won't be done anytime soon. Actually, I believe this is the exact halfway, so... Yeah. Two left after this. Yeah. Because you were going to do, uh... Let's see, did Beastie in Pixel, and then you're doing one up. Yeah, uh... Who was the last person? Whatever you put in. Faz. Faz. Faz make it? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on! Hey, whatever you announced today. Lunar Rock! Lunar. It's Lunar Rock. <laughs> Lunar Warlock. Wait! <laughs> did I did it again, didn't I? Yeah, my, my dyslexia keeps reading it as Luna Rock. <laughs> you assigned her? I assigned her Moon Rock. Luna Rock is the, the, the Daco in Pokemon. Yeah. Look at her, so full of evil. <laughs> She's adorable. No, the 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 dog, the that's Lycan Rock. <laughs> Cause he's a he's a werewolf. Like a rock. Everybody oh, wants like a rock. rock to tie a piece of string around. <laughs> Mindina trench coat. <laughs> I would love to draw a Mindina trench coat. <laughs> Just a bunch of pots on top of each other. <laughs> well, you buy it. Well, you sell it. She opens it up, and it's just emotes on the inside of the trench coat. <laughs> that would be a cute way to do commissions. Honestly, I should do that next time. <laughs> yeah, you want pretty pictures? How do you like pretty pictures? I even got moving pictures. <laughs> It's just like little fucking like gifts on the one side. <laughs> I have been thinking of redoing my design. A little bit of booby. They're off to murder. That's true, y'all would be so big. Y'all would just step on them. What even color did I grab up? <laughs> you know, you know, I do draw things besides boobs when people pay me to. Sometimes. No, you're 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 controlling them by their ears. Ratatouille. Like ratatouille. You're small enough to do that. It's <laughs> under the front coat. Charcucci. Charcucci board. <laughs> One post was like, Did you use the rat during sex? Eh. <laughs> no, tear it out. <laughs> You're a plant, you survive off of dead animals. Doom on a bear shoulder just t posing to assert their dominance. Doom would t pose on the top of the bear's shoulders. <laughs> he wouldn't even hold on. <laughs> he would ride him like a Skyrim glitch. <laughs> I got, uh. It wasn't even a glitch, it was just a physics mess up. I think, like, a, um. Giant spawned on top of a dragon, but I got a picture of it, and the dragon flew off, and the giant was still on top of him. <laughs> it was amazing. I can show you the world. <laughs> <laughs> he always making other people fly. He wanted to know what it's like. Hehehe. <laughs> 
We need really dramatic speed lines. Together they are unstoppable! Except like if there's like a, a, you know, a high doorknob. That'd probably stop them. Just put whatever it is on a high shelf, you'll be fine. A baby gate, yeah! Keep him in gay baby jail. Just picks them both up by the scruff. Drops them in a playpen. She's on the phone with Sal. And that's why I'm in jail. I mean, we do ha we do have the phone, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's not the top one. Hey. There. This is what she's- This is what she looks like in the background! It looks good! <laughs> I <was gonna> say. <laughs> and that's why I'm in jail. I might just post it like that when I post them all together. <laughs> just them in the background. I'm sorry I can't hear you. The children are out. <sighs> Give me a second. Turns around with a squirt bottle. <laughs> Minty would like that though. Minty's Minty, like, did you know you're an invasive species? Minty's just there, like squared up with her face. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> yeah. Minty, like, I there could be only one. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot stop my chaos. Puts in a baby gate. <laughs> no! I'm contained. For now. <laughs> Minty, you can't kill me in any way that matters. What does that even mean? Put you in a baby gate on top of concrete so you can't, like, <laughs> get down under it because you're a plant. <laughs> no, you have the pot, you have the hanging pot, and it just says yeah, you just put you, That's why she streams in a hanging pot sometimes, because it's the only way she won't cause horrible evil. <laughs> the pot just says gay baby jail on it. Yeah! <laughs> it's the gayest of baby jails. <laughs> Go fuck yeah, concrete! <laughs> That would be a funny meme with a flower meme and it's just minty in the second one that's like, fuck yeah, concrete! <laughs> Shouldn't you be in bed, sweetie? Ah, oh, it's getting with the gummies before going to bed. <laughs> minty, but it's like instead of a hamster ball, it's like a little terrarium. <laughs> I'm only contained for now. I will have my revenge! Hey. Just you wait until I can reach the doorknob. <laughs> How do we stop Pixel with a squirt bottle? Shiny objects. Hey. <laughs> sure. Squirt bottle, shiny objects, a bell. No, uh, it's just cheap sake. It's the kind you get in those little like um juice box drinks the oni sake that that one chick was drinking inside of uh uh that 
uh, Bochi the Rock anime? <laughs> you little box wine of sake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where we get you. <laughs> and we just put it like in a one of those like traps, and then you just like get stuck in it, and then we release you somewhere where you're you're not a bother. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little fucking gogurt tube of sake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a menace. The menace in question, locked out, fucking napping in the sun. <laughs> I'm putting in the milk before I put in the cereal. <laughs> minty, <laughs> minty pouring the milk and cereal onto the concrete. Fuck yeah! <laughs> The earth is my bowl. <laughs> the earth is my bowl! <laughs> and she just sits on it. Just plop. <laughs> Absorbs it through her butt. You need a bowl? Pour cereal into her mouth. Ha ha, <laughs> filthy meat bags. <laughs> Steps on top of the cereals. No, ah, ah, cinnamon toast crunch, my favorite. You're only drinking the milk. It's cinnamon milk. I like the crunchy ones the best. Why? It sounds like the bones of my enemies. Now she's a meat eater. She just eat meat. <laughs> just here with like a fucking thing. She of kills people so the blood of her enemies can go on the ground and then she can sop it up like a plant. Just there with like a thing of like hamburger and she splats it onto her face. Ah, nutrients. Delicious nutrients. <laughs> nutrients. But yeah, I'm gonna settle down to this. Have a good night, sweetie pie. Here comes the smooch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll you. I'll see you tomorrow. Is Minty like one of those Venus flytraps? You have to feed her little snackies every now and then? No, she just kills you. <laughs> she just murders your ass. And doesn't even feel bad about it. And here we see the wild North American knife plant. You can see it throws these tiny knives. Oh god, it's stabbing me! I do like Minty being an invasive species though. That's funny. <laughs> She cannot be stopped. I'm gonna put some speed lines. There we go. They're going super fast, guys. Can't you tell? Nyom. Y'all want to see him go super fast? See? They're so fast you can't even see it. So fast. Yep, that seems right. I might actually do this as a separate layer and stick it on top of it. You know what I should do? I should make it smaller and put it behind the other one. Ah, uh, you can't tell what it is though. 
I like it a little less derpy. <laughs> Gave them too much blood of their enemies. There we go, that's perfect. It's like, yes, I know. Perfect. <laughs> no, she just hears y'all. All right, we gotta give the creature something. A knife. A guillotine! Because they're rich. Just fucking blur them. Here's the basket for the head. Guillotine. <laughs> Alright, Luna Warlock's turn. Then we'll be done. Well, we have two, but... They're both memes, actually. Memes are fun! Oh, that didn't work. There it goes! And I for once have a commission reference of her that isn't naked! So I have the full color scheme of her outfit! Yay! <laughs> Doom, you have asked for memes! Don't lie. I can still pick my nose with my pencil. Pick, pick, pick. Ah! <laughs> yeah, because now they're digital, so they all cost stuff. One, two, three, four. Am I missing one? No. No, I have one extra. Duh. <laughs> Dumbass. This scene in the original series made me laugh so fucking hard. This show is so good. I didn't get to see the Christmas one when it was in theaters around Valentine's Day. It is so fucking funny. Keep it as narrow as it is because it just makes it funnier. Yep. 
Yes, big booba. See, she's pointing to the booba. This one was actually really fun to do, like, her, um, hair. <laughs> it was just so much hair. I was listening to one thing today, and it was talking about, uh, eugenics. Because it was talking about Mangala. And it's talking about how uh, it started when like these people are like, no, see, uh, white people are descendant from this great race, and they used um, Greco-Roman statuary as evidence. It's like, see, this is the great, beautiful race we're related to. This is the height of beauty, and they pointed out that like, does that mean in like two thousand years or something like that? Yeah, it was on Behind the Bastards. Good podcast. They're gonna take, like, Vogue and stuff and see all the Photoshop shit and see, like, people in the past were prettier! Look at all these beautiful, perfect beings! Oh, like, you don't listen to podcasts about horrible people. I love listening to podcasts about horrible people. What other podcasts are there? Well, I also listen to one about ones. For you see, I am a woman. And all women, um, like horrible fucking podcasts. <laughs> See, J Beastie likes them too. <laughs> About horrible fucking people. I have not. I might though. I used to listen to uh, Last Podcast on the Left and um, Behind the Bastards more, but I listen to them when I drive more than anything else. And since I work from home, I don't drive that much anymore. <laughs> so I'm behind in all of them. <laughs> I remember uh, I used to have to commute to school and um, I, that's how I listened to all of Welcome to Night Vale back when it was big. <laughs> Same with Magnus Archives when I had to commute to my uh, other job. Commutes are great for podcasts. But then you stop and you're like, oh, I'm gonna listen to video essays and shit on YouTube instead. Yeah! Podcast Ahoy. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Now, I still listen to some though, but they're the kind that I listen to while I go to sleep, which uh, tend to be a little mellower. Though same, still horrible subject matter. <laughs> they're just less uh, people talking about something they like and more people reading out stuff. Tails on the side, it kind of looks like that pink haired chick from um, Demon Slayer. I think she's in the new season that's going on now. I just kind of hated her design, it's so ugly. <laughs> Because Demon Slayer actually had some really good designs up till a certain point, and then everything kind of went off the rails. You can't see her horns. How will you know?
all the wiggles. itself. No. God, she looks horrified. What is she eternally screaming at, chat? And why is it Kokoro? Majestic. Oh no, I've been really pale. There we go. I like this request. It only has four colors. <laughs> Y'all should take note of this. When I went to get the tattoo with my sister, I got uh, the peach I designed for my mom, but she never got it before she died. Right where she got it. And uh, for the peach, I had done a... Um, half tone pattern on it to give it a little shading at the top, you know, make the peach look soft. And uh, when we got out, my sister was like, You know, this, this tattoo I got on my leg wasn't as much money as that one. And it was this little mushroom guy, and it was technically bigger because these were small. However, it didn't have shading, and I had to point out to her, like, No, this is objectively a more complex tattoo just because of the shading. <laughs> I would have charged more with that. That's true. So, Beastie wins this one. The person who makes me do the least amount of work wins. What do they win? Nothing. My eternal admiration. It means nothing. I'll have to take pictures of my giant octopus when it comes. Three foot long octopus. I know just where we're gonna put it. She is screaming forever. What? Oh, wrong color.
Oops, that's a race. density all the way up. Actually, let's just make a square behind this. Nope. <laughs> Wrong button. So big. Yeah, it looks like a ghost.
and text. I spelled everything right. And merge everything. Alright, now we give the creature one more thing. Wait, I don't have the internally on there. Boop. What does the creature get? Caviar, so they can eat it while their head's chopped off. What? My scoop, my turn. Fish on it. Fish, eggs, fish, eggs. I do like row. And little, little pile of them. Little spoon. Perfect. Did I keep that reference? Yay, me! I didn't delete it. Alright, this will be the last one for tonight. And we're about on usual time, so good for me! I think that's because so many were silly little memes.
poops. Or her head too high. Or at least her forehead. When I get rid of finger, erase your whole boobs. If that just isn't how it goes.
I think I put her on a bar stool instead, maybe. I don't really think they have folding chairs in like D&D universe. do they probably hit each other with them. I keep trying to draw these lines and I literally have a tool for it.
you.
Have a good night. No. I'll put it in later. Sleep. You did. Here, do you want me to record and see this cute? Uh huh. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Go see. I was. No, you weren't. Spangles.
Ah, pixel. Sorry, I think I'm getting a little sleepy. Brain lowering. I like that second ten better. There we go. All right. All right, we give the creature one last thing. rich people have. Twitter. There. Perfect. Alright, let's arrange all these boils. Everyone's so big. They're so small. I was trying to use these up a bit. Alright, now they're around the same size.
save. All right, that's going to be all for tonight. Thanks for those who come. We'll be back to normal schedule next week, every Saturday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.